This lesson is going to teach you the Hindu shuffle. This is one of the first shuffles I ever learned and it's one of the more basic shuffles you can learn. There are a variety of applications which I'll get into and I really suggest perfecting this move as it's a lot of fun and looks pretty cool. The next shuffle we're going to learn is the Hindu shuffle. This is what it looks like. So it's a relatively simple shuffle compared to the riffle shuffle. However, it has many uses and you can use it to control a card or to even force someone to pick a card. So let's get right into it. To start off, the cards are in mechanics grip. With your right hand, you're going to pick up the cards just like this. Your thumb is gonna go along the left long edge of the packet and your middle fingers are gonna go in the same place on the other long edge. So this is what it looks like, the grip. Your left hand is then going to be held out in front with the palm facing upwards. You're going to come over and with the thumb and the middle finger, you're going to pinch a small portion of the cards from the top. Your right hand is then going to move backwards, leaving those cards in that position. You're then going to release your fingers and let them fall into your palm. You're going to repeat, so you're going to take another small packet off. Your right hand pulls away and the cards get dropped. Thumb and middle finger grip the packet on the top. It doesn't really matter how many cards they grip. The right hand pulls away and the cards drop. You can do this with the left hand doing the movement, but I really prefer this method as I think it looks more fluid and looks more normal. Those are the basic mechanics of the Hindu shuffle. It's quite a simple one in comparison to the others. However, getting the right timing and the right speed can be tricky. So I'd suggest starting off very slowly and just making sure you can consistently grab a few cards off the top. Keeping it neat in the left hand, you don't want all the cards slipping about. You want it nice and controlled and nice and neat when you first start off. Now, how do we use this to force a card? Let's take the Jack of Hearts, for example. I'm gonna keep the Jack of Hearts on the bottom of the pack. And what I would do is I would say to the spectator, I'm gonna shuffle the cards. I'd like you just to tell me stop whenever you like. I'm gonna then perform the Hindu shuffle. And whenever he says stop, so maybe here, you can see it's gonna be the Jack of Hearts because the jack of hearts is on the bottom and it's not moving when I'm taking the cards off from above it. So I could shuffle more, stop, 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 stop. So whenever he says stop, it's always going to be the jack of hearts. It's a really powerful move because of this reason. So they could say stop here and it would be the jack. They could say stop all the way down here, and it's always gonna be the jack of hearts. This is the main reason that I would practice this shuffle, not to actually shuffle the cards, but as a really good technique to force someone to pick a card. That was the video lesson for the Hindu shuffle. It's a nice, simple, basic move, but there are many applications, as you'll see in the following tricks.